Trials and tribulation. What about memory? Ah. 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 How did I get into this mess? Why? Why did I do that? to be a guy with green text. Ah! It is so crackling again. Is it bad? I'm telling you, bro, if you can do this, you can do this. There's only been a couple, but like... It once. Stop it! <clears throat> don't... Don't talk about it like that! Yeah, it's cracking again. Yeah, he looks it, a it's... Lot like, uh, yeah, 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 it's bad, it's, it's bad. Okay, um... He looks a lot like, uh... What's his name? Matt? Matt, uh... What's her name? <laughs> I didn't do it. Okay, um, let me fix this, because I think I know what's the problem. Oh, well, but Five years before earlier. I fix it. My FA. <laughs> My FA. <laughs> Mia. Oh yeah, Mia, fuck. Shut up. Mia, fuck. <laughs> there you go. How many times have I heard this? Uh, Matt, this is you. Ahem. Oh. Mr. Grossbird, good morning. Ah, Maya, please calm yourself down. I know it sounded a little weird there for a second. You're going to get yourself a get yourself arrested for su suspicious behavior, you know. What are you talking about? I heard back from Mr. Grossbird. Look at me, box. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want to know. <clears throat> Let go of my lapels! Oh. It's, it's like a pin. It's just like a pin. Uh, lapel, I think lapels what those, uh, the, uh, sort of triangular bits of the, uh, collar of his suit. Oh. The, the uh, collary area. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, uh, the... <laughs> you obviously haven't gotten the temperament to be a lawyer. He looks good in red. Yeah. Oh, right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprise me. What was your earnest request last night? Let me handle this case, you suddenly said. And quite forcefully, too. I just found out yesterday. About the case, I mean. What? And you've already learned all the relevant facts? No. <laughs> Phoenix Incredible, right. you know everything about the case! Except you fucking don't. Phoenix Wright, age 20, wait. I'm doing some age math here. Okay, it's done. Doug Swallow. That's an unfortunate last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. 
Oh shit, that's my person. Mike's <laughs> right's girlfriend dated the victim Duck Swallow up until eight months ago. I am. Now I know, Mr. Wait, no, hold on. Wait. Well, about that, you see, yeah, I mean, of course I have, I think. Now I know. Is that autopsy report updated? Yes. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. Are you sure about that past? It's me, Miles Edgeworth, time traveler. What the fuck? Wouldn't that be Professor Layton? No, Professor Layton is very much not I a time traveler. I thought he time traveled in one of the games. Oh, they, they, they might have done an H.G. Wells thing. Oh, 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 oh dear. Again. Oh, speaking of oh dear, oh god. It, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Again. Xbox streaming moment. Yeah. But you guys can da, da, hear, da, da, right? Da. Yes. Okay, good. I'm just gonna have to push on through it because I can't hear it. <laughs> Playing with no audio feedback. It's a way. <laughs> The well, there, of speed it, there is audio feedback, but it's coming from it's straight from my quiet. computer. Uh, I see. Oh dear. In any case, don't let our client see you sooner. Or you're so nervous. You see the poor young man in the pink sweater over there? That's our client. <laughs> Good morning there, everybody. Oh, fu <laughs> oh fuck. Morning. It would appear our client has COVID. Good morning. I, er, I just want to say, I'll give it all I got. <laughs> yep, I'll be fine. No problem. <laughs> For me. What's wrong? Do you have a cold or something? Mr. Ryan? Mr. Ryan. It's actually, actually, it's right. Like the Flying Brothers. People screw it up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's what the mask is for. That's what the mask uh, is. No! That's the point of the mask. The mask is. I'm getting- I'm getting the, the comically large sword. <laughs> my doc said this is- my doc said this way I won't give to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Right, Mr. Wright. You have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise oh, I will save you. I think you. the popping is happening again. If you are truly innocent, I promise I'll save you. Uh, please let go of my shirt. <laughs> He's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for a client, Mia. My name is Mia Faye. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. Great. But that trial traumatized me so badly, I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. What was... It's been one year since then, and, well, here I am again. But this time... This time, I'm going to win. My client... And for myself. Sad oh, thing fuck. is, I can't listen to this good music. Mm -hmm. Court is now in session for the Just trial pretend of Phoenix Wright. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, God, you got hair. 
The prosecution is ready, your brother. The defense is Miss Miss Mia Fay, was it? Yes, Your Honor. Is there a problem? Wait a minute. I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was the leading the defense. Yes, well, you see... Mr. Grossberg had a, a bit of an emergency. Mr. Grossberg had a, a bit of an emergency. Damn, bro. You're taking up all the fucking space. Uh, judge. Emergency? But is that him standing right there next to you? Yes, well... You're just a rookie. Are you sure you can handle this? I'm scaring me. I'm giving you a toughest look. This is pain watching this. Yes, Your Honor, I think. Hmm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Well, well, well. Stop flicking your hair like that. You're disturbing. Fuck yourself. I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Don't worry, little girl, it'll all be over soon. You should have trash what talk was, pain. What was that all about? Was that trying to trash talk me? What was that all about? What can I say? I'm kind of a prick, an asshole. A poopy head. <laughs> Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of events on the day in question. <laughs> the incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. <laughs> Wait, he looks like Leon, with red hair. It is literally just original R.E.T. Leon, R. but Ginger. Ah, so original the Leon. The murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. No, you're not. He was a fourth year student studying pharmaceutology. Pharmacology. I know words. Hmm. It sounds like he was a very bright young man. 
One second. <laughs> yes, well, next we have a photo taken of the scene of the crime. <laughs> Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder. They found the victim's body. And the defendant, who had obviously bungled his getaway. They then called the police. <laughs> <laughs> that certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. What? I'm not suspicious. You're suspicious. I saw you vent. Use a sussy baka. Okay. Very well. The court accepts this photo and to the record as evidence. I can feel my soul eroding with every mention of Among Us. Among Us! I had in time is now in Among Us. I really want to buy the conductor skin. <laughs> oh, you wee pack neck! I saw you venting in... in goddamn electrical! You think you can get away with it? You can't! <laughs> Me. By the way... <laughs> I can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. Judge, it's right there. A loose wire. A loose telephone <laughs> wire. A reputation for sagacity, sagacity, I don't know what that word is, is yeah. well earned, your honor. The truth is that this murder, that this victim died a rather unusual death. An unusual death? Wendy, then plus I play Among Us enough to get through a fucking battle pass. If battle passes in Among Us, why? Remember the Sounds like a... What do you mean, Mr. Payne? A battle pass among us sounds like a hassle. I do want to do it for the... I do want the conductor, though. To make me choose between... Having, having to do three passes and... To make me choose. Well, uh, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. Sorry about loosen up, loosen you up a bit. You know, before I send you to the Shadow Realm. Uh huh. Love a guy, man. Let it go. I am a genteel man, if you will. I 
hate the fact that his hair is bouncing on top of yeah the like bro. what are you doing it's my drip man let bro let your hair go man it's not worth it skipper skipper um what You're me, that's so much you made up. Ah, a perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause. Go on. Oh god, the crackling. Is it back? Yeah, it's all, it's real crispy right now, too. And join us. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it sounds so good so far. I switched like um like uh, my outlet. Yeah, maybe may maybe it's a fucked up outlet. Cause like that's happened that's happened to my USB like port. Where like they'll out. break and then it won't work right with Fuck whatever's connected. Fucked up outlet's the name of my punk band. <laughs> the crackling in every track. Please say you know at least this much. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. I say we speed run it before the crackle comes back. Uh, oh, this is Skipper's line. Skipper, what did I just say? Get back here. I'm so sorry. I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's got 92 power null, what the fuck? How old are you again? 61? <clears throat> oh, my hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Now see here. The details of the case are filed under the court record. But you knew that already, didn't you? I mean, there's not like my court record. Attorney I think game. you can see that by pressing the right bumper. All the weapons we can, we need can be found in the court record, including actual weapons. There's a gun in your suitcase. Where? This game's gonna slowly but surely morph into Cars 2. I have a feeling. The Cars 2 is the friends we made along the way. as an IQ play if I could pull this off. Take a good hard look at the data. Then think carefully before you answer, my dear. Milady. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. Come, I can't get but that prosecutor is a better of me. Let's 
Skipper, did you die? The court record. Okay, let's take a look. I just pressed the right bumper here. I mean, I already look, so. Man, this is much harder than the time I went to Fortnite. Now then, would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Duh. Yeah. Electrocution? Hmm. But how could such a thing happen? Yeah, this is 20... <laughs> this is 20... You told this... Zeus to strike him down. This is a fictionalized word of 2013. Did the murderer use some type of new super powerful stun gun, perhaps? Oh, please use Red Skull. Please use Red Skull. I beg you. Ah, there goes my Shang-Chi. The answer to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. Oh, it's a Thanos stack. Oh, it's a Thanos stack. I'm in danger. But before that, there's one more vital issue. What's that? My motive, of course, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Apparently there's bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad Blood, the song by Taylor Swift. What do you mean? Sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing the spotlight like this. Bitch. Damn. Really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's what Winston Payne for you. He's one smooth operator. If you catch my drift, oh, I want a standard, uh, smooth operator. 
Why does he sound like Momo from AI? No, I was, I was over here. I sound more like, uh, fucking... I know I got a few characters that sound like this. Like a less insane burger pants, almost. And they don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know. Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the, the victim and the defendant? At this time, I would like to see some supporting evidence. <laughs> All right, so, uh, uh, uh Nick, uh, Matt's... Uh, 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 evidence? What? I have it, having seen the Fortnite leaks, I have this really dumb bit in my mind where it's like, Peter's, like, gonna be behind Snake the entire game. It's like, you know, they're gonna be looking for army guys. That's funny. That is all. Snake, you're up. Uh... Ah, no need to get all worked up over this. <laughs> My ass hurts. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. You have a halberd in your briefcase. I personally carry a Glock 19. Pocket gun. Find the evidence you need, then shove it in old Gravian's face. I heard that, you know. Fuck you. Yes, sir. Into old Greybeard's face. Mr. Grossberg. Try to set a better example for the young lady. Maya. Evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. You can toggle between profiles and evidence with the right bumper. Don't know what that is. To be sure to go over it all. But you're closing your eyes, Jim. Now then, let's see what you've got. Justice is blind, bitch. What was the cause of the blood blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? How old are you? 49? Okay. This bitch. 49 years young. The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. The liar look at her. Hawthorne, is it? Look at her. Is I mean, look Dal at her. Is Dahlia? Look at her. I mean, look Dahlia at her. Hawthorne, is it? 
I want to punch. She has a punchable face. What? <laughs> That's fucked up. Very good, Miss Faye. You seem to have picked up at least that much. I'm not stupid. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Yeah, I, be I bet she did. Who the fuck keeps these again? You might know. I'll fucking kill ya. My court record also has weapons. Pulls out a gun. <laughs> No, he just has the gun hidden in the umbrella. This is why we need to finish up the construction on the fever no, breaker. No, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, to fit. Clearly, she has some fun to play in the story. We'll find out why his name is Doug Swallow, too. Unironically. Can't wait, Penis. To learn the origins. Can't wait to learn the origins by the mixed, by the last name of Swallow. Hmm. It's English. Ah, he's done it again. Oh, that did not sound good. But before the cross examination starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Is anyone else getting that, like, ear-piercing, like, high-pitched noise going? Uh, not high-pitched. Woo, that was a crack. Yep, ah! Yep. The cracks are back. God damn it. Hold on. First witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? The defendant himself? Well, Miss Faye? It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? Oh my god, you guys are loud on my end now. Holy shit, what is wrong with this headset? Boy, this is just gonna curse, fix it. it. <laughs> Let me just. Though this would be a nice head fit for Lisa Company. Mm. God, yeah. What day are we gonna do that? Cause I have work tomorrow. I need to get Lethal Company. She probably won't be able to yeah, do we'll have to, we'll have, to we'll have to check and see how many of us have it. <laughs> the defense has no objection. When Mask gets his neck snapped and taken away. Oh god, are you guys quiet again? Say something. I'm being paranoid. Yep, you're quiet again. I have to leave. Alright, continue. That's the sound of me getting living tribunal. <laughs> oh, that's just fucked up. You didn't need to do that. Did I not put up the stream?
You fucked up. You fucked up. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix right to the witness stand. Hello. Hello. Wolfenstein. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yeah. My name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, um, well, right now, I guess I'm a suspect. I guess I'm sussy. No, no, he means, what did you do before you were arrested? Oh! <laughs> I was a university student. Dying from the... Dying from the... Plague is not a disease. Mr. Wright. But... But I didn't... I can't do it. I'm innocent, I tell you. Oh my god. Would the defendant please refrain from passing on his cold to the rest of us? I can't help it. Seems the witness is something he wants to say. Hmm. Well then, Mr. Wright. Please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. The victim and I. Damn. I forgot this cross-examination music is mid. Um, I, I admit I was there. But I'm not a killer. All I do is find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. See, there's your answer. That's why his name's Swallow, because he's British. Hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right, like I said, I'm not a killer. Looks well, like the judge understands. One second. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Sorry, there's a cramp in my foot. Hmm. You're being naive, you know. Too, I need, too naive.
Oh, that's Mia. Oh, that's Mia. Oh. 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 Mia, wake up. I don't like this. Mia, wake up. Hey. Hello. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> okay, Chucky. How oh, you fuck you calling Chucky? <laughs> it seems that you forgot what's about thing, young lady. And that would be... When is still us to undergo something called cross examination? Cross examination? Pardon me. He's right. It's... Bro. He's right. And it's all it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross examination. And that's keeping the shotgun yet. This is his pre uh, Schwarzenegger era. The purpose is to determine if a witness's testimony came contains any contradictions. If the witness came. Contradictions? fuck is happening next door if a witness is lying the statement will conflict with the court record I'm trying to remember what his voice sounds like I swear to God but mr. Wright is my client oh uh, yeah well so is a guy named Matt Ungard and he was full of bullshit Even if he is your client, in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, it is your duty to... It is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Did he say that testimony just now... That there was a lie? A contradiction? I mean, I already know what the contradiction was, so... Now then, your cross-examination, if you please, Miss Fay. I'm sad now. Would you have to me, would you? I mean, look at that face. Is that a face you can trust? To be honest, I don't trust shit. Mr. 
right. You stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. That that's right. I mean, why would I even? That's not right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? Uh, no, it wasn't me. I'm not a killer, I swear. You know, yelling that you say that you're not a killer doesn't really help your case. Mr. Wright, I will give you the opportunity to re revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the, vic the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? He, yes, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Axel Lowe? Right. Come on, man. Certainly you saw the Union Jack? Yeah, I'm sure. It was right there on his back. It's Union Jack from Teen Titans. Oh, no, wait. It's, um... What's his name? Mad Mob? Miss Fay, is there some point to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute! He's wearing a leather jacket? The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. How do you know that? Under the impression the... that you accidentally came across the, that you accidentally came across the body. I mean, he wasn't lying on but his if back. If that was so... really the case, then you wouldn't know that, could you? Yeah, but the leather jacket was on, so how would he see the T-shirt? You have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath that jacket. So, what do you guys think of this music? Not bad. Cool, get used to it. Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me. I need one of y'all to confirm something with me. Mia, you've made our client cry. Okay, there you go, Neo. I thought you were dead. Oh. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to confirm? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just Neo in the background. I'm just waiting in the wings. Let him. Oh wait, no, it's yeah. that's me, yeah. Let him. That's 
pee on his chest? Doesn't stand for Phoenix anyway. Well, in the, in the Japanese version, it was all wrong. In the Japanese version, R Y U for Ryu. The answer lies in the heart of the court case. <laughs> that was an impressive bit of cross examination. Damn, you're just lazy. There's no way his hair can do that. He must use a lot of gel or something. Thank you for uncovering the defective lies for me. It's quite clear this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh... Great, now I'm going to jail. Thanks, Mia. But, Kakra, you didn't go hard enough. You will never be ballin'. Damn. Too smart. By the way, Mr. Ray, you seem to have a rather bad cold if you take any medicine for it. I, uh, um, yeah, I took some, but. What's the medicine that you took? An over-the-counter brand called Cold Killer X. Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. Hey, wait a second. How do you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? Did you just... Did you quite possibly just fuck up? Oh. <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. He lost it? Does he even know anything to do with this case? Does this have anything to do with this case? Mr. Wright. Should I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? What was that noise? Oh, that was me doing Your it. Your Honor, I'd like to take another look, look at the photo in, from the crime scene. Well, though everyone has just noticed that Doc's lobby animations are broken. It's weird. What 
What's this? The victim's hand, it's... It's Code K Killer X! Mm, nothing kills germs better than Code Killer X. Maybe Bionicles. Skipper. Yes, but you know I got a bottle of cold killer eggs in my apartment. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belongs to. Well, that's that... Mr. Wright's fingerprints are all over it. Well, that sucks. Since the bird is ten, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine. Dropped by Mr. Wright and hit it in his hand. His purpose of doing so could only have been to identify the killer as Phoenix Wright. Order! Order in the court! Nevada, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Give me that. Very well, the court will accept this them into the record. <laughs> also, the victim's wrist watch was broken. Broken. Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it.
Well, Mr. Bright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? Bet you don't, bitch. Uh... 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 It's worth help? The point of the mask is sorry. Skipper, wake up. This is really bad. Stop. Talking Stop about talking your about your hemorrhoids, dude. Jeez. Oh, my buttocks. My poor, poor hemorrhoids. <laughs> the truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology de department, so we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind the building. We talked for a bit, and then around 3 o'clock, we split up. Then later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I've been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days. But I lost my ball of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Wright, that is completely different from the pr testimony you previously gave. <laughs> I'm sorry, Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. Also, why do I feel like you're gonna yell at me in the future? A lot. I'm yelling at you right now. You'll forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. Miss hmm. Fairy, please begin your cross examination. Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. Friends, don't lie. Was it Mr. S- that, That's me, that's yeah. Me. I'm- I'm not- Well, who would the kid you should meet at 245? It's okay, Mass. We'll get there. Yeah. We both there right on time. Listen, Mass, you're- Listen, it's not Edward- um, Edgeworth Investigations, yeah, you'll be on the, is it the left or, you'll be on the left side soon. I'm just feeling a bit silly. Hmm. You said the victim was in the pharma, pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the alchemist of IVU. An alchemist? I see. But his friends call him the Blight. 
I gotta admit it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. He had orange juice in every vial. It was really weird. Weird. Ho ho, how fascinating. He sounds like he was an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for some more detail? Oh wait, no, it's not actually Trapper. I'm wondering if he could tell us a bit more about apparently. the pharmacology department. Well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. That's right, and they sure look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages, so there are high voltage cables everywhere. Uh, high voltage cables? Yeah, there was an electrical pole set up all around the building. The high voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Yeah, finally, I think we're getting somewhere. Finally, I think. On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Ah, huh? what does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. You can never be too sure. I always eat with- I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest! Mmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> What the? Mia, why would you do that? What? What? Mia just punched Grossberg. Jeez. In the jaw. So I could stop. Yeah. Guess my. Guess oh, why did you touch me in the jaw? Please stop talking about your hemorrhoids. I'm not talking about my oh, fucking I'm hemorrhoids! I'm so sorry! I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. <laughs> Mia! That's fucked up. Bro. I had to hurt someone in my proximity. I think you that's were enough close. For now. So the defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for an unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. I'm gonna be frank with you, Chief. Let me be frank here. God damn it. Ah! Mr. Wright, your testimony cannot be trusted. What? Well, what do you mean? Whoa, frenzy upon you. Uh. <laughs> I knew it was too much work for a little girl. Sex is pain? What's happening? 
<laughs> However, there is still one mystery that still remains. There is your adder? How the murder was carried out, of course. Well, have you ever heard of the doctor from Dead by Daylight? Kind of like that. Have you ever heard of my Mantis Man comic? I got a villain named Lightning Bug. He electrocutes people. It's kind of like that. Just how was the victim electrocuted? Have you ever heard of Raiden from Mortal Kombat? He electrocutes people. It's kind of like that. Bailiff, put the FEMA breaker on highest priority for being built. <laughs> I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet, correct? Uh, that is, uh, I... You are correct, Your Honor. Skipper. How exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? If I could somehow establish how it was done. Maybe I could still come out of this mess smelling like a rose. Your Honor! Yes, this day. I believe that if we were to piece, piece together everything we've heard up until now, we should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. That would be most impressive. <laughs> Quite the best statement from the rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the court, yeah? An, attor an attorney must be able to subsequ subs substantiate their arguments with evidence. Sorry, I'm choking on my swag. Of course, of course I know that. Actually, I found about that. Damn it, Mia. Mia, arguably just as useless as Phoenix. Well, who do you think taught him? <laughs> I know it was rough in court today, but you need to put a smile on your face, you pansy. Now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you've got. Show A me knife! No! Show me how you believe the victim was electrocuted. As for the cause of death, 
I think this picture captured it quite well. What? Dead. Yana, are you fucking blind? But there's nothing even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. <laughs> Not this again. What? Monokuma Ted image reappeared. When are you gonna have Monokuma the 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 Fortnite? Hmm. I'm afraid the defense is going to have to explain this in a bit more detail. Well, naturally, it's right here. That's... that's... what is that? An electrical cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony what we've heard? The machines the pharmacology students use in their experiments require high voltage. And because of that, there are special high voltage cables strung up everywhere. Wait a minute, wouldn't he have become Electro then? So then the high voltage cable. Yes. The high voltage cable is the cause of death. That is the most likely explanation. Certainly sounds plausible. Someone's liking my tweet, but I can't tell who it is since Twitter is fucking broken. Well, Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Old bastard. 
play with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may have indeed been a high voltage cable. Oh, ah! It's back. God damn it. However, I want you to think about what that really implies. The defendant. Got it! That much is certainly true. Yes, and it's not all. That was not the right voice. No. <laughs> yes, and that's not all. We have proof. Irrefutable proof that will establish Mr. Wright was the murderer. You do? Well, what is it? It's fingerprints, what the fuck was that? Just flew across the room, I'll let the fly. Yeah. It's a big ass fly. I think it's fucking huge. Fingerprints? <laughs> you mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. As you may know, leather holds fingerprints quite well. Took a swing at him. My bad. Yes, this was, it was clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. The palm print of the defendant's very own hand. What? I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. 
intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim towards the se the severed electrical cables. But I'm weak. I'm low tier. Order, order, order! That's enough! I think that we can conclude that there's no reason we can continue with this cross-examination. Stick a fork in us, we're done. <laughs> My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mia. I knew that boy was guilty the first time I saw him. What the? Fuck you, man! No, you're wrong! I give nothing but bad vibes to you, Grossberg. Mr. Wright is innocent. Oh, you're passing bad vibes to me? Curse of homelessness! Oh, fuck. No. It will take a, it shall take place in the dark age of law. Oh god, it just got big. What the fuck? Ah, it's small. Ah, it's big. Ah. <laughs> Judge jump scare. Judge jump scare. No further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Damn. At this time, I'm. Prepare to render a verdict on this case. Do you have something further to ask, to add, Miss Fay? Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? the truth, the whole truth. Pointing. Now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. Bailiff, please remove... Bailiff, please remove the emo thirst trap from the room. But... But I... I can't... I just can't say it! If I told you what really happened, then I... I'd be... Ow! Ow! Fuck! Ow! It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. Why are they playing the justice for all court 